attention, Nintendo Switch fans. Prepare to witness the magic of cooperative gaming as we delve into a collection of Switch ports that have received a co-op makeover. These titles have been infused with exclusive co-op modes, breathing new life into beloved games that originally lacked multiplayer features. Grab your controllers, gather your friends, and get ready to experience these reimagined classics like never before. Cave Story was one of the early indie games to gain popularity in the aughts. The Metroidvania gameplay mixed with the tough-as-nails platforming created a satisfying experience. This game was just about perfect as is, and then years later the Switch port came around and made it even better. I always found Metroidvanias to be more enjoyable with a partner, it's just a lot less lonely exploring with a friend. The only downside here is that when one person dies, you both go back to the checkpoint. I wish they allowed you to carry on and bring your partner back somehow. Nonetheless, the Switch version of Cave Story is the best way to play this game. VVV VVV is a unique platforming indie game that came out in 2010. The main mechanic of this game is you control gravity to some extent, having you jump between the ceiling and the ground in order to navigate the levels. It's a really interesting take on platforming. When it was finally ported to the Switch, they included an option to play with two players. This game is incredibly challenging and requires some serious precision in some areas. Playing with a friend, you'll need to be in perfect sync to effectively work through the levels together. So make sure you find a partner that has some platforming chops before jumping into this one. Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challenger, was released exclusively on the Nintendo Switch, and it offers a unique two-on-one co-op mode. Some people might say that, yeah, it's not that fair to have two against one, but to be honest, I felt that it was still challenging and a satisfying team effort. You share a health bar between two characters, creating a strategic dynamic, making every match intense and engaging. While the game may lack some modern features found in recent fighters, the addition of the two-on-one co-op mode provides a fresh and enjoyable multiplayer experience that sets it apart from previous versions of Street Fighter 2. I think this is an underrated mode. There's not a lot of fighting games that have two-on-one modes or any kind of co-op mode whatsoever, so it's a welcome addition. The Switch is known for having a port of just about every Wii U game. Other than technical enhancements, there usually isn't a ton of new content in these versions. However, there are two games I want to talk about that added co-op gameplay. The first one being Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. At release, the Switch port had an assist mode that allowed player 2 to control a cursor that can help player 1 collect items and stun enemies. It was very limited. Luckily, they added a full co-op mode that has two players working equally to solve the puzzles. This ended up being one of the finest co-op experiences on the Switch, so definitely play this version. The other Wii U port is Pikmin 3. The original had a few limited co-op modes, but the Switch port included Split Screen, which allowed you to play the entire story in co-op. Again, this is one of the best co-op games on Nintendo Switch. This is the definitive way to play Pikmin 3. It offers improved controls and a new side stories mode. The game follows the adventures of three explorers who crash land on a planet and must search for food while finding a way back home. The game strikes a balance between the time limits of the first game and the unlimited freedom of the second game. It introduces a fruit-based time limit system and allows players to switch between leaders and divide Pikmin into groups. The addition of the co-op mode adds a new dimension to the gameplay. The game runs at 720p and 30 frames per second, but it doesn't impact the overall experience. While the visual improvements are limited, the enhanced controls and the additional content make this just the best way to play Pikmin 3 by far. We talked about Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons at length in our art games video. This is a beautiful and emotional story that feels like it was made for co-op. The original version had you controlling each character with one controller, each dedicated to the left or right stick respectively. I've heard some people say the addition of co-op kind of ruins the original gameplay gimmick and makes it too easy, but this game is really just about the story. Having a partner next to you becomes a bonding experience, and I believe it actually elevates the gameplay. 
Devil May Cry 3 originally came out in 2005 on PS2. Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition for the Nintendo Switch delivers an exhilarating co-op experience alongside its timeless high-octane action gameplay. With the addition of the new freestyle mode, players can seamlessly switch between combat styles on the fly opening up a wealth of combo possibilities and enhancing the core gameplay. The local co-op feature allows one player to control Dante while the other takes on the role of Virgil in the Blood Palace challenge rooms. These additions, combined with the game's superb combat mechanics and charismatic characters, make Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition on the Switch the definitive version of this legendary action game. This is really cool to see, but it would have been even better if you were able to play the main game with a partner. HAL Laboratory, an independent developer known for its Kirby and Smash Bros. series, released the delightful mobile game Part-Time UFO in 2017. Now it has been ported to the Switch, and it's even better. Players control Jobski, a sentient UFO with a claw, who completes various part-time jobs using its unique skill. Part-Time UFO plays like those claw games that can be found in almost every arcade ever. Except this is actually fair. You work together with a partner to pick up items and drop them off in designated areas. The simple gameplay is actually one of the highlights, making it easy to pick up and play for any level of player. The Switch port introduces new levels, achievements, outfits, and modes including the addictive co-op and Tower of Infinity. Part-time UFO shines with its charming visuals, delightful soundtrack, and compelling gameplay, making it a must-have title. This is truly a hidden gem on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's groundbreaking Nintendo DS introduced the gaming world to unique dual screen experiences, and The World Ends With You capitalized on this concept in 2007. Now, The World Ends With You Final Remix brings an enhanced version to the Nintendo Switch. The game follows the protagonist as he navigates the enigmatic Reaper's game, and the engaging storyline, well-developed characters, and high-stakes battles captivate players. The combat system, though modified for the Switch, retains its fast-paced intensity, but struggles with slightly awkward controls. However, the real highlight of Final Remix is the co-op feature, allowing a friend to join as Neku's partner and unleash powerful fusion attacks together. This cooperative element adds a new layer of enjoyment to the game, making it a must-play for RPG fans. Coupled with its stylish visuals, energetic soundtrack, and the quality of life improvements, the World Ends With You Final Remix offers an unforgettable gaming experience, especially for those eager to team up with a friend and take on the challenges of Shibuya. No Straight Roads, developed by Malaysian studio Metronomic, falls into the category of AA games, showcasing energy and ingenuity with elements reminiscent of big budget releases. The game follows rock bandmates Mayday and Zook as they rebel against a music label using their power and influence to their own gain. The game always included two player co op gameplay, but the Switch port actually adds the ability to play with a third assist player. Player 3 plays as Ellie Gator, a secret alligator assistant who can help players in battle by picking up items, transforming props, and calling in useful bonuses. The game features a blend of beat-em-up and rhythm-based gameplay with vibrant boss battles that showcase creativity and zest. However, issues arise with a poorly implemented camera and repetitive combat mechanics. Despite these drawbacks, the game's boss encounters are memorable and full of charm, while the soundtrack impresses with its EDM-centric compositions. No Straight Road's world and characters are engaging, complemented by its thematic writing and distinct art style. However, the game is held back by performance problems, camera limitations, and repetitive gameplay. While it offers a worthwhile experience, it's important to approach the game with realistic expectations. No Straight Roads has the potential for greatness, but falls short of reaching its full potential. That being said, it's just great to see a story-based game that's built around co-op, so I will always give a game props for that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our top 20 co-op Switch games video. And if there are any other Switch ports with exclusive co-op modes, let us know. Thank you for watching.